Hi and welcome to week 10 of US history. So in this video, we're going to be delving into significant social movements that we're going to discuss in the week ahead. We'll talk about these, some of the challenges, some of the triumphs. We'll start by evaluating uh, what we call the age of reform through studying the effectiveness of the prison reform and temperance movements. Then we'll explore the hardships faced by enslaved African Americans and the remarkable ways they coped. And then we'll move forward and we'll discuss the struggles and successes of free African Americans in the mid 1800s. While lastly, we'll summarize the positions and tactics of those who opposed the abolition of slavery. So we'll begin with prison reform and the temperance movement. So prison reform aimed to improve the conditions of prisons emphasizing rehabilitation over punishment. This is a key aspect, rehabilitation over punishment. Some key elements include the construction of better facilities, the introduction of educational programs for inmates, and the development of parole systems. The effectiveness of these reforms varied, but they laid the groundwork for modern prison systems. Temperance focused on reducing alcohol consumption and its associated problem. The movement led to the prohibition of alcohol in the United States in the 1920s. While it did reduce alcohol-related issues, it also gave rise to illegal activities like bootlegging. The effectiveness of temperance is debated, but it had a long-lasting impact on alcohol regulations. And we'll shift to the hardships faced by enslaved African Americans, enslaved individuals, uh, African Americans endured unimaginable suffering, including forced labors, uh, physical abuse, and family separation. To cope with these harsh conditions, they relied on a range of strategies. So first was spiritual. Enslaved Amer Africans uh, used to express their feelings and maintain their cultural heritage through music. Uh, spirituals were born from this, providing hope and a sense of community. Second would be community support. In the face of adversity, uh, enslaved individuals formed tight-knit communities that provided emotional and practical support. And third was resistance. Some enslaved Africans actively resisted their conditions through revolts, escape attempts such as the Underground Railroad, and acts of sabotage. So we'll move on to the struggles and successes that they've had in the mid-1800s. 1800s. So they did make significant problems despite these challenges. One area would be education. So many free African-Americans placed a strong emphasis on education, establishing schools and promoting literacy. Uh, entrepreneurship was a second. Some individuals became successful entrepreneurs, running businesses and contributing to their communities. And third would be activism. Free African-Americans were actively engaged in the abol abolitionist movement and advocated for the right of slave individuals. So lastly, we'll summarize some of the positions and tactics of those who opposed abolition. Uh, opposition to the abolition of slavery came from various quarters. One was because of economic interests. So many slaveholder, slaveholders relied on enslaved labor for their livelihoods, making them resistant to any changes that threatened their economic well-being. Racial prejudice was a second, so deep-seated racial prejudice and the belief in white supremacy were significant obstacles to abolition. And third, it was through political tactics. Those who opposed abolition used tactics such as uh, passing pro-slavery laws, using censorship, propaganda, and suppressing abolitionist literature. So, in conclusion, our exploration of these historical topics, those were just um, the headings, so to speak, we will delve deeper into the details of those events and issues. And um, these topics will shed more light on the complexities of social movements, uh, the resilience of enslaved African Americans, and the multifaceted struggles and successes of theirs. Understanding these historical movements and challenges is vital to gaining insights into the evolution of society. So for more in-depth knowledge, we're going to begin this week. Uh, with those topics, and we will discuss them in much more detail in class. So thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in class. Thank you.